morning, PGA DFS fans. Welcome to my top five sleepers video for the Zurich Classic. I am Jason Roslin, your host of this short form video on the Awesome YouTube channel. If you want to find me or chat with me, look me up on Twitter at DFSGolfer23. And of course, make sure you subscribe here to our YouTube channel and our Odds Shopper YouTube channel for all of our great content. You get notified when it comes live. Be part of our community here. Also want to thank Yahoo, the sponsor of this short form video, which of course, I'll tell you about a cool deal we've got going on with them a little later here in the video. Now, though, let's jump into my top five sleepers here this week. It is a team event, so maybe a little bit different, but we're going to start off on the bottom with Peter Uline and Richie Wierenski. These guys came in third in this event last year, pretty much out of nowhere. So why not take a look at them again here this week? Their projection is just below 7%, around 6.5%. And specifically for golfers that maybe you wouldn't think would team up or wouldn't play good, they ended up playing great together last year. So let's see if we can ride that momentum on such low ownership or low projected ownership, I should say. Coming in, though, missed cut in a 69th in their last two starts. When we look at their strokes gain stats, this is not going to convince anybody any more than the third place finish I just said they came in here at this tournament last year but let's go over them anyways 190th off the tee between the two of them 172 on the approach 146 around the green and 97 putting so nothing going good but they get to erase all that come to a course that certainly helped them in their standing last year on the pga tour take a look at the team of uline and warensky all right, next team certainly had a decent season on their rookie uh, campaign on the PGA Tour. It's Aiden Buckley and Alex Smalley. Now, neither are playing their best golf right now. And that's probably why at the price of just $7,000 on DraftKings this week, they're just about 5% owned. But for Buckley and Smalley, they both entered the top 10 a couple of times and both are in good standing on the FedEx Cup to retain their job and get into the playoffs, which certainly is the goal of each and every player. So for their strokes gain rank, this will be obviously their rookie campaign. They did not play in this event last year together. For their strokes gain ranks, not bad. Ninth off the tee between the two of them, 71st on the approach, 133rd around the green, and 139th putting. Really not bad at all. Like them a bit this week. All right, the next team that I want to chat about is a team that is having a great season. For both of them, Bo Hostler, a bounce back season playing out of a difficult category, but he has a multiple number of top five finishes and a couple of chances to win. So Hostler certainly having a bounce back season. And for Thagala, his rookie season on the PGA Tour, while he hasn't won, he's done almost everything else, really showing him as a quality contender on the PGA Tour. So at just $7,500 this week, I know that neither of them played great last week at the RBC Heritage. Still, I think this is a great spot for them. I think they're a good team. Hostler's phenomenal on and around the green. Thagala has shown himself to be a worthy ball striking candidate. I think they've got a good duo. Now, when we look at their strokes game ranks to kind of go over what I just said, well, they're ranked 82nd off the tee, 68th on the approach, 57 around the green, and 8th putting. One of the only teams to have, especially at 7,500 or below to have all of their strokes gain ranked be inside of the top 85. So really like Hostler and Fagala here this week. Next team I want to talk about is two guys that are definitely buddies coming from Sea Island, Georgia. They both live down there and they're both coming in playing pretty good golf, especially for JT Poston coming off a third place finish bogey free seven under 64 at the RBC Heritage on Sunday to move way up the leaderboard and have his best finish of the season where Pat Kazire played his typical top 25, top 30 golf. So I like them a lot. Their price is a little high and their price being high means their ownership is going to be low. Projected at just 3% this week. And when we took a look at their strokes gain rank, you gotta love where they are, especially Poston who's a much better putter than he has been this season. He's been ranked in the top 25 on the PGA Tour almost every year, but not this year for Poston. But with him playing so well last week and the putter being a big part of that, I like where his game is headed. So as we take a look at their strokes in rank, 50th off the tee, 40th on the approach, 80 around the green, and 87 putting for the duo of Kazire and Poston. Okay, the last one I want to talk about, the last team, is Davis Riley and Will Zalatoris. They're the lowest-owned projected team above 8,500 this week. I just talked about because I heard Poston at 8,500. So now above 8,500, it is Riley and Zalatoris. Obviously know each other from their days on the Corn Ferry Tour. And 
at just 7% owned with Riley coming in second place at the Valspar just about a month ago. Zalatori is a sixth at the Masters. You got to like where their form is. And as we look at their strokes gain ranked, Zalatoris is having an amazing ball striking season. He's ranked eighth and second off the tee. Whereas Riley having a pretty good season with his uh, short game, ranked 90th and 73rd. So just 7% projected own for that team. I really like where they stand. So that's going to do it for my five teams here. We'll go over them quickly. But before I do want to tell you about the sweet deal that I've got going on with Yahoo here, this PGA DFS season. Now they are taking a week off uh, for the Zerts, but they will be back for the Mexico Championship lack, uh, next week with tournaments and contests. And if you haven't already signed up over there and you enter your first paid contest and make a deposit, you will get a free month of Osmo Plus Platinum. That's correct. A free month of Osmo Plus Platinum to join us on the premium side over here. You get access to all our projections for every single sport. And right now we have like six or seven going on. So a great time to join us. I know football's not going on. That's literally the only sport that offers DFS that is not being played right now. So again, a great time to join us. All right, let's go over the five to one really quickly. Uline, Wierenski, Buckley and Smalley, Hostler and Thagala, Kazire and Boston, and Riley and Zalatoris. Those are going to be our sleepers here this week. We are going to try our best with those five guys to measure up to the results we had last week at the RBC Heritage for this video and the value video. We had eight of 10 make the cut. That's okay. That's pretty good. 80%. That's that's well above what I'd consider the average. But in addition to that, we had the winner. We had four other top fives. Just an amazing week. Hopefully you all profited. I got a few messages that some of you did. So we love to hear it. So until next week's Mexico Championship, everybody, good luck. Of course, if you want a little bit more Zurich stuff, we've got two live shows, depending on when you're watching this. I'm doing this at Tuesday at 9 o'clock in the morning. There is a Tuesday PGA DFS strategy show with Eric and Ben uh, today, Tuesday in the afternoon. And then, of course, Wednesday, live before lock with Ben Raz and I will take everything down at 8 o'clock on Wednesday night. Tell you the teams we're going to be playing, any withdraws in there. So until next week, everybody, good luck. And we'll see you on the other side. Cheers.